In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really dynamic bar chart animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's pretty quick and pretty simple. So let's get into it. So inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, the very first thing that you want to do is just create a background because this black background is just a bit dull. So we're going to go into the project tab, go to this button here, which is new item, press black video, press OK and drag that onto video layer one in your newly created sequence. We'll just extend this out to around 10 seconds, go into effects and inside of effects, we are just going to type in the number four and that should bring up four color gradients. So we're just going to drop that onto our black video and we are going to change these colors. So pick a color of your choice. I'm going to go for a bluish purple color, something similar to the background. And you want to pick four different variations of that color. So don't just go for four strong blues, go for a light blue, a dark blue, maybe more of a purpley pinky sort of blue. So as you can see, four different shades of blue. And from here, we're just going to increase the blend. And I feel like this one might be too dark. So I'm just going to bring that a little bit up, add a bit more blue into that mix. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now, if you wanted to, you could animate this a little bit. So you could create keyframes on the points and the colors, move over and move the position. So, so if you select the four color gradient, you get these. You can move these around in time. So if I go to the beginning and create a new keyframe on all of the points, and then I move over to 10 seconds and I just move all of those points to different places like this. You'll see that over time we have got a little bit more animation. So it's just bringing that background to life. You can also animate the colors to change over time, but that's not this tutorial. We're talking about bar chart animation and not a gradient background. So that will do for now. So from here, we're just going to lock off the background and let's begin the work on the bar chart. So the first step is to just turn on a guide to get a straight line. So I'm just going to go to this icon here, which is settings, and I'm going to turn on the safe margins guide. So as you can see, this is what I'm going to use for our guide. So I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm just going to select this point. Then I'll move over and select this point. And you'll notice shape has appeared in effect control. So if we go into that, We'll turn off the fill, go to stroke and increase the stroke. So 20 looks like this. Then I'm just going to deselect that and I'm just going to create another point. So I'm going to select the bottom left and the top. And as you can see, that's created another graphic layer. So feel free to change these settings again, but I'm pretty happy with that. So if I just turn off the safe margins, you can see this is what we have. However, if we zoom in to 400%, and we go to the bottom left corner, you can see these are not quite marrying up. So I'm just going to move this one down a little bit so that they are now meeting. So now when we zoom back out, this is what we have. Now, of course, you are more than welcome to make these thicker if you wanted to. So we'll make this one 30 and we'll make this one 30. Of course, by doing that, though, you'll see it has ruined what we just did. So you need to zoom back into 400% or even 800 if you want to get really precise. And we'll just make those adjustments once more. But this is what we have. Now, at the moment, it does feel a little bit large. Don't worry, we can always scale this down later on. Now, I want this to be at the very top, so I'm going to select both of those, drag these up. And let's go for four different bars. So you want to make sure we've got space for four different layers. So one, two, three, four. That's perfect. Now from here, I want to go into the project tab. We'll go new item, black video, press OK. We'll drag that onto video layer two. Now we'll go into effects and search for tint. Drop tint onto that newly created black video and we'll map the black to a color of your choice. So let's go for yellow. Now we're just going to select uniform scale. So we're going to deselect that and we're going to pull the width down to somewhere around 10. We can also pull the height down as well. And then from there, we want to move this circle to the very bottom. This is the anchor point and the anchor point is the point where the animation comes from. So if, for example, the anchor point was in the very center of this notepad and I was to rotate it, it would rotate like this. Whereas if the anchor point was on the left, it would rotate like this. And we want to animate the bar chart to go up. So we're going to do that by animating the scale. However, if I was to animate the scale from the center, 
the scale would animate like this. Whereas when I animate it from the bottom, it's not going to animate from the bottom. It's going to go up. I'll show you what I mean. So if I go into scale height and I adjust that, you can see this happens. But if I zoom all the way in to 400% and I drag this down, so this is the anchor point, you can drag this circle or you can just drag this down. Completely up to you. But we're just going to drag that to the very bottom, make sure it's sitting flush with that line. Now when we zoom out and we increase or decrease the scale height, you can see it's animating up from that bottom. And that's how we're going to animate this to go up. We'll do the animation later on, but it's really important we set this up because we're going to be making a copy of this bar chart animation. So with that said, we need to now move this into position. So just place this somewhere along this line. And as you'll see, because we've placed the X and the Y graphic at the very top, we can now place this underneath and we don't have to be really specific. We can just leave that and that's fine. So from here, we just want to make a copy of that so we can go command C and V or control C and V. Or you can just hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and just drag up like that to make a copy. But once you've done that, you can just move that over. We'll go into Tint and we'll change the color. Then we'll do that again. We're going to go for about four. So just keep working through this process until you feel like you've got everything. So we now have our basic bar chart animation, but obviously at the moment we have no animation whatsoever. So let's get to work on doing that. So I want the X and the Y to animate at the same time. And to do that, I'm just going to go to the very beginning, go into effects and search for crop. I'm going to drop crop onto the top layer. So if I just turn that off briefly, you'll see that is the Y. Now I'm going to go to the very beginning and I'll pull the top up to 100% so it goes down. I'll create a brand new keyframe on top and then I'm going to move on to the next layer. I'm going to drag crop onto that layer. So this is the X axis and I'm just going to increase the right crop to 100% and create a brand new keyframe. Now we'll go five to 10 frames to the right. It depends on how quick you want this to be, but we'll go back to the top layer and we'll pull that down to zero. Then we'll go to the X axis and we'll pull that to zero. And when we play this back, you can see they animate like that very quick though. So if we go to 15 frames, we'll move that second keyframe on both layers to the cursor or to this point in time. Make sure it's the same point in time and that slows that down. Of course, if you wanted to soften the animation, then just select the top layer, right click the first keyframe and put ease out and then right click the second keyframe and ease in. Then we'll do the same on the other. So the X axis we will right click the first keyframe and go ease out and then we'll right click the second keyframe and ease in. So when we play this back, it's a lot softer. So now we can move on to the bars and I'm just going to go through and pull all of the scale height down to zero. So on every single layer, the scale height should now be set to zero. This might take a short while to do, but just be patient with it. And now from here, you want to figure out where you want these to animate. So I want them to stagger up. So I'm going to wait until this has appeared on. And then once that does appear on, I'm going to go to the first one and create a brand new keyframe on scale height. Then I'm going to go maybe five or six frames to the right. And I'm going to go to the second layer and new keyframe on scale height. Another five or six to the right. Go to the next layer, new keyframe on scale height. And the last layer, new keyframe on scale height. Then we'll go back to the first video and move over in time and just drag this up to the point where you need that to go. Then we'll go to the second video, drag this up to where you need that to go. Just keep working through until you get all of these animated on. So when we play this back, you can see this is what we end up with. Now, of course, there is a little bit of glitching here. So again, you can help that by just converting these keyframes. So ease out to ease in. So that changes the look of that. You can also increase the time it takes to get from the starting point to the end point to really smooth that animation out. There's a lot that we can do here, but you'll also probably notice that it is a rendering issue as well. So if we render this out and we play this back, you can see it's much smoother already. So it is just a rendering issue, which was causing that skipping. But you can still see though, it is a little bit harsh especially on this right one here. So we'll slow that one down and we will convert those keyframes to ease out and ease in, not ease out again. Now, I would say that this bottom line is probably a pinch too long. So to fix that, I'm just going to go onto that layer. We'll go to that end keyframe 
and I'm just going to pull the right just up a little bit. So it's just cropping that in a pinch. So let's go to 20 to begin with and let's go to the end. I'd say that's about right. You can go back in and make some adjustments, but just always make sure you're hovering over that end keyframe on the crop. But once you are happy with that, we can just extend everything. And then with everything selected except for the background, we can right click nest. We'll call this bar chart. Press OK. And that is now in its own nested sequence. And we can treat this as its own video. So this means we can scale this down like this. We can make it really small if we wanted to and include it as part of an infographic. Or we could just create a nice scale up effect. So we'll start at around 50 and then we'll go to the end and we'll pull that up to around 65. And when we play this back, you can see there's a nice scale in animation on that. Now, if you do have Adobe After Effects, then I would probably consider doing it over there as opposed to here because you could use trim paths to animate and there's things you can do to make it a little bit quicker. But it is still possible in Premiere. So if you don't have After Effects or you'd rather just keep it in Premiere, that's not a problem. This is the technique and you can build on this as much as you want. If you wanted to, you could also add the four color gradient effect to each of these bars to add a gradient to the bars as well. And that will really help to bring it to life. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.